Ethiopia just made one of the biggest economic announcements in its modern history. A new five-year strategy called Digital Ethiopia 2030 has been approved by the Council of Ministers. And according to the government, this plan is not just a policy. It's a national transformation designed to rebuild the economy, modernize public services, and bring the country into a fully digital era. But what does this actually mean? Why now? And how big of a shift are we talking about? Today, we break it all down. For years, Ethiopia has been pushing to modernize its economy. With Africa's second largest population, over 120 million people, and one of the youngest workforces in the world, the country sees digital transformation as the fastest way to expand opportunity. Since 2020, Ethiopia has rolled out major reforms, opening the telecom sector to new players, expanding 4G and 5G networks, launching digital payment systems, digitizing services like tax filing, and creating the national digital ID known as FIDA. That earlier strategy, Digital Ethiopia 2025, has officially ended, and the Ministry of Innovation and Technology even claimed it was 100% successful. Whether or not that's fully accurate, the truth is clear. Ethiopia did build a foundation, and now the government wants to scale everything. On November 29th, the Ethiopian Council of Ministers approved the new five-year plan, Digital Ethiopia 2030. This strategy focuses on five major goals, digitizing the entire economy, expanding digital infrastructure and connectivity, boosting tech innovation and startups, modernizing and digitizing public services, and strengthening cybersecurity and data protection. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said the new plan will rely more on automation, machine inputs, and AI to deliver faster, more efficient services. One of the biggest pillars of the digital transformation is the FIDA National Digital ID. The government says over 28.8 million people have registered so far, and by 2030, the goal is to reach 90 million citizens. Why is this important? because digital ID unlocks digital banking, government benefits, SIM card registration, tax filing, education and healthcare access, and digital payments. In other words, FIDA isn't just an ID. It's the doorway into Ethiopia's digital economy, and the government has said openly FIDA is central to the success of Digital Ethiopia 2030. Connectivity is the backbone of digitization. Ethiopia has been expanding its fiber network, upgrading mobile towers, and working with private sector partners. The entrance of Safaricom Ethiopia and the growing approval of satellite internet providers like Starlink are major milestones. Digital Ethiopia 2030 plans to increase urban and rural internet access, build new data centers, modernize telecom infrastructure, and support nationwide 4G and 5G expansion. The goal is simple. Every citizen should be able to access digital services. The strategy wants to move government services online, reducing long lines and speeding up processes. Examples include digital ID registration, digitized land and property systems, digital tax reporting, electronic payments for government services, and online business licensing. This also ties into a system Ethiopia is building called the GovStack, digital ID plus digital payments plus data exchange systems all working together. Ethiopia wants to create a strong environment for tech startups, similar to what we've seen in Kenya, Nigeria, and Rwanda. The plan includes supporting AI development, investing in digital skills for the youth, encouraging entrepreneurship, and supporting fintech and e-commerce startups. AI will be used in areas like agriculture, transportation, healthcare, and government service delivery. The government wants responsible AI, focusing on ethics, transparency, and security. Digital Ethiopia 2030 is also a pitch, a message to investors. 
Ethiopia wants to attract international companies in telecom, cloud services, artificial intelligence, fintech, digital manufacturing, cybersecurity, and software development. With a population set to reach 150 million by 2030, Ethiopia sees itself as a major digital marketplace, not just for East Africa, but for the entire continent. Of course, this transformation won't be easy. Ethiopia faces low rural internet penetration, foreign currency shortages, cybersecurity vulnerabilities, regional conflicts and instability, and skills gaps. And digitization requires massive investment in infrastructure, training, and technology. Digital Ethiopia 2030 is ambitious, some say extremely ambitious, but if even half of it succeeds, it could fundamentally reshape the country's economy and unlock opportunities for millions of young Ethiopians. For now, the strategy is signed, the plans are approved, and Ethiopia is officially entering a new digital era. If it succeeds, won't just upgrade Ethiopia's technology, it will rewrite the country's entire economic story. It has the potential to create a new generation of digital entrepreneurs, to give rural communities access to services they've never had before, to modernize agriculture with real-time data, to make healthcare smarter, education more accessible, and government services faster and more transparent. For the millions of young Ethiopians entering the workforce every year, this isn't just a policy, it's a pathway, a pathway into digital jobs, global markets, and opportunities that didn't exist just a few years ago. With the rollout of the National Digital ID, FIDA, Ethiopians will have a unified identity system that opens doors to banking, payments, SIM cards, and government programs. Every citizen, whether in cities or remote villages, can be included in the digital economy. The expansion of connectivity from fiber networks to 4G and 5G to the arrival of new telecom players and satellite internet is laying the foundation for a country that can compete regionally, continentally, and globally. And Ethiopia is betting big, betting that digital transformation can create jobs faster than the population is growing, betting that technology can unlock transparency and rebuild trust. Betting that AI, automation, and innovation can lift industries that have remained unchanged for decades. Yes, there are challenges, internet access gaps, economic pressures, cybersecurity risks, and the immense cost of infrastructure. But every global digital success story began with the same question, can we do it? And Ethiopia is answering that question with its boldest strategy yet. Digital Ethiopia 2030 is more than a plan. It's a declaration, a vision for a country that isn't waiting for the future to arrive, but building it with its own hands. And if even half of this vision becomes reality, Ethiopia could emerge as one of Africa's leading digital economies, a hub of innovation, talent, and opportunity. For now, the strategy is signed, the plans are approved, and Ethiopia is officially stepping into a new digital era a future written in code, powered by its people, and driven by possibility. This is Digital Ethiopia 2030, the beginning of a new chapter.